Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ahana and here we talk about all things related to stationery, planners, productivity, organization and in general trying to live your best life and if that interests you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Today we're back with another stationery review video and this is a little different from the usual ones which I do. The playlist is linked above, you can check it out. Today we're reviewing art supplies and I have a bunch of art supplies that are in almost new conditions so if you want me to review other kinds of art supplies then leave a comment down below i'll definitely make that video recently i got this faber castell pit artist pen it's a set of eight pens and they're all black in color and i just wanted to give a quick review and overview of the pens what they feel like what the strokes are like what the color is like and things like that so i'm going to be trying it out on a factor note sketchbook here and i don't know exactly what gsm this is but i think it's quite high it's about 175 or 200 gsm so it's a pretty thick notebook and anyway these are artist pens so they are not meant for normal paper so i'm going to try out each of these pens and i'll show you what the strokes look like and maybe even try making something with these pens so let's get into it so it says there are eight pens they have very different sizes so they have xs s f m b s c s b and 1.5 and i saw the key and it basically says xs is extra sharp and s is sharp then f is fine m is medium b is brush s b is soft brush s c is soft chisel and 1.5 this is the blunt tip nib basically so let's check them out so let's go in that order let's try the excess first and obviously it's going to be the thinnest and it's the point one tip and i'm just i'm just doodling a flower here if you can see the difference so of course it's really fine but also it kind of feels like the normal faber castle markers like that is the structure of all of the pens so they're really comfortable to hold and in case you're thinking of doing a very elaborate art piece with this the grip is good and the barrel is pretty thick so it will not hurt your hands and obviously this is a very thick GSM paper so there is no ghosting and no bleeding at all from these pens. Then let's move on to the S version which is a 0.3 tip pen. So this one is a little thicker obviously as you expect and I think the stroke looks very similar to the normal Faber-Castell markers that you get. Then the next one is called fine. So let's see. Okay, it's definitely thicker than that and it's more of a marker kind of a feel. It's not a micro tip obviously, it's not a fine tip. It is a little blunter and a little dark. Next we get to medium. Let's see. What I have to say about all of these pens is that they're definitely very smooth and the medium is a 0.7 nib. So we had a 0.1, a 0.3. F was a 0.5 and this is a 0.7 nib and you can definitely see all of the variations in this. Then we have brush. I'm just going to write my name. Not very good with it yet but yeah the brush feels really nice. So even though it's a brush pen it's not very thick. The nib is pretty fine and I like how easily it glides on the paper. It didn't get stuck on either the up or the down stroke so it was very easy to use that's the brush pen then we have something called the soft chisel now obviously the soft chisel tip is a little chiseled hence the name i will just like write with it the pigment is so dark here and the nib is a little chiseled here so it's very clear that's why we are getting these rectangular sort of lines as opposed to like if i put it on one end then you'll see like a normal line but this is the line that we are getting so i think that's very interesting i've never had a pen with a chisel tip before and be very interesting to use in artworks i think let's see how that does then we have the soft brush look exactly like the brush pen and there is no other measurement given so let's see i'm all, i'm going to try to write my name with this again oh okay so that is definitely way softer than the old one and the fact that it's softer also means that it can be much more bolder. Like the strokes are not that thin anymore and they're pretty wide strokes. So I think the soft brush gives really wide strokes. I, I was not, ex I don't have too much experience with brush pens, but I was not expecting that. That was very cool. The next one is the 1.5 blunt tip pen. So let's see how that one does. I'm going to do this. 
so the blunty pen is very similar in quality to the xs sf and m pens that we have used obviously it's not the brush pen or the different kind of nib and since the m left off at 0.7 so this one is double of that this is 1.5 and those are all the eight pens this is a very thick paper but still none of them have leaked or even ghosted there is no impression of anything being on this page at all so i just want to do like a quick sketch with these and just show you So there you go, I have used all of the 8 petatus pens for this piece and all of them were very very smooth on paper. Anyway, I've shown like the different strokes that each of them gives. So yeah, that was it. I hope you liked this video. I just wanted to show you an example of a kind of art piece that you can do with all of the different kinds of textures and the different strokes that these pens have. And they are definitely very versatile as a pack. It's great that all these different kind of strokes are available in one pack. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. And if you want to see more videos about art supplies, let me know that as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.